Yo, what's up guys, it's Six here, and today I just want to show you a quick tutorial on how I make my cinematics look really nice and clean when I do them. So, as you can see, I've just imported some text into Element 3D. It doesn't look too nice at all at the moment. Turn that layer off, actually. So, you can see, it's just basically reflections and material. And it's a really quick way of making this look nice. So, the first thing you want to do is... Let's just make this a bit bigger. So the first thing you want to do is you would like to scroll down from in the element, just scroll down to render settings, drop it down, then drop down ambient occlusion and check this box. Already you can see it's started to put some shadowing into it and it looks quite nice already. Um, but to the settings I tend to use is I change the ambient occlusion intensity to 3 and that just intensifies the shadows. The samples to 16 to to destroy any graininess in it. And I just leave the radius the same, but if you want you can bring it up, but that kind of stretches it sometimes. So I usually just leave it like that. And now you can see it already looks a ton better, but there's another trick that I use to make it look even better than it already is. So what I do is I just close the ambient occlusion, and same in render settings of element, you can drop down the lighting. That will already be checked and the lighting fall off. I'm not sure if I've changed with it, but if I have, you can. You just have to mess around with it. I think it might just be one at default, but it doesn't matter. But what I do is I go to add lighting, drop down, and I go through these and see which one looks quite nice. So you can see dramatic is more of a orangey tint to it, and then there's um, cinema, which should be yellow and blue, or just blue then. And you can see some of them look really nice. But you want to find one that fits the map. So I reckon maybe 360. No. Product. Let's try natural. Mm, that's quite nice. What about uh, ambient? Yeah, that's nice. What if I change this? Let's put it to 1.99 like I did before. Yeah, that looks really nice. And that is basically all I do to make my cinematics look lovely. It's really simple. And you can see that the shadows work really well. Because if I enable um, multi-object onto this. So let's just go to multi-object, enable it. And I just displace the rotation. Where is it? There. You can see the shadows work with it. And it looks really nice overall. And that is basically all I do to make like my motion tracks look so nice in After Effects. Uh, I hope this helped you all. Um, if you have any problems and comments and anything you want to ask, feel free to ask in the description. But it has been Seeks. Peace out.